The Air on Foam mattress, which is available with either the Thea or Eros pump units, is a full replacement dynamic therapy mattress. It has a maximum user weight of 180 kilograms, which is 28 stone. And this does include any bedding or accessories that are used on the mattress. It's suitable for up to very high risk patients. However, always ensure that monitoring and repositioning is carried out as per the individual care plan. A risk assessment must be performed to ensure the suitability of the patient and the contraindications, for example, unstable spinal injuries. For those patients of a very low weight, typically less than 40 kilograms and a physical size of less than 146 centimetres, clinical judgment is to be used to determine individual suitability. Support platforms used with the mattress can vary greatly depending on the specific healthcare setting. So it's the responsibility of the prescriber to carry out the necessary risk assessment and to ensure suitable product compatibility and the safety of the patient. Always refer to your local policy and guidance on equipment selection and to the full user manual instructions and guidance prior to using the product in relation to safe use. To set up the Air on Foam full replacement mattress, you simply place it onto the bed frame of the bed that you're utilising and it does come with a handy transport strap. You simply unclip the strap, roll out the mattress, um, ensuring that the connector and the feet identifier is placed correctly at the foot end of the bed. There are eight fixing straps on the mattress and it's really important to ensure you fix all the straps and also to the moving part of the bed frame. Simply attach your chosen pump unit to the foot end of the bed, the Thea or the Eros, and then using the quick connector, just unclip from the mattress and plug into the side of the pump unit. The CPR tag is located at the foot end of the mattress on the left hand side and it's really important it's a tag not a dial so on setup ensure that it's fully aligned and inserted into the tubing so then the mattress will inflate when it's attached to the pump unit. Once the pump unit is switched on at the mains outlet and switched on on the unit itself the mattress will start to inflate. The mattress will inflate over a 40 minute time period However, to optimise that, you can turn the pressure settings on the pump units up to maximum while it's inflating. And once the mattress is fully inflated, then you turn the dial to the correct setting to meet clinical requirements. The green top cover is multi-way stretch, waterproof and vapour permeable. It has a navy nylon base. Ultra fresh, an antimicrobial agent, is fully encapsulated in the cover to help control microbial deterioration and to help extend the life of the cover. The cover clearly identifies the mattress type, in this case air on foam, the maximum patient weight which is 180 kilograms and at the foot end of the mattress the care and cleaning instructions are clearly identified. There is a foot image for correct positioning of the mattress. It's clearly identified on the mattress that this is compatible with both the Thea and Eros pump unit. And then finally, there is a zip identifier to show you where the zip is on the mattress. The Air on Foam mattress has a 360 degree zip, which means that the green top cover can be replaced if required. The mattress has high frequency welded seams, which fully conceals the zip, and that reduces the possibility of fluid ingress and aids infection control. The mattress has a white inner substrate which assists with auditing procedures by making any staining easy to observe and whether the mattress is compromised. Just to note, it's important that any bed sheets applied to the mattress are fitted loosely to reduce any hammocking effect and also to consider that any layers uh, introduced between the patient and the support surface, for example incontinence products, could impact on the pressure relief provided. The Air on Foam mattress is comprised of 17 individual cells. The top three head cells remain static at all times. This is to reduce any feeling of nausea or motion sickness experienced by the user. The remaining 14 cells operate in a two-in-one cycle over a 12-minute period. And this means that at any one time, the patient experiences 50% support on their body and the other 50% of the body experiences pressure relief. 
For rapid deflation, simply pull the CPR tag firmly in a downward movement and the air will be released from the mattress. The umbilical cord connector includes a transport cap, which means the mattress will remain inflated for up to eight hours to ensure the support surface provides pressure redistribution in power outages or when transport is required.